Hi everyone, we're back again with a new session where we continue to build the uh, O Expression Foundation service. Sam, in the last session, you and I uh, put together a failing test. You know, I think it's your turn, brother. You know, you need to kind of give me a passing test. Did you already make it pass? <laughs> Did you take all the action? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, let's do it. So. Mm. So you merge the changes into the master branch? Yeah, that was my mistake. So you need to kind of take a branch out of that, call it foundations, users, Samshu, foundations, and then O expression service, right? And then you just, uh, sorry, O expression dash, uh, I'll, I'll write it down for you. So just create a, here's the, um, it would look something like this, Sam. Sam, um... here. So we need something that looks like this, my friend. So, so create a branch that looks like this. So I think this is your uh, GitHub name, and then you're just going to go and do foundations dash O expressions dash generate. So we basically put user category service name and then action. What do you think about that? Foundation or data expression. Yeah, okay. O expression. Huh? I share the screen. Let's go to town with your light mood. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you have a failing test, right? Sorry, you, you should have a failing test. If you pull straight from main. Can you, you copy have... copy and paste the a branch name again? Yes, sir. I can do that. <laughs> okay. There you go. So it's a, it's a, my name. Yes, sir. I, I I I think that's your GitHub name. I just pasted it for you in the in the Streamyard. Streamyard. Users slash. Oh, users. Okay. Yeah. Just copy it and paste it. Yeah. You know you could also do it straight from Visual Studio, right? You don't I have know. to go. I know, but I do like this one. <laughs> like to play old school classic. That's fine. So, users. Yeah. You... Um, my GitHub account. Yeah. Foundations. All expression ge gen generate. Uh, yep. Hmm? There you go. You're still in the main. <laughs> what yeah. happened? It should be check out. Yeah, check out. Not a branch. Uh, no, it's a, it's a G. Yep. Okay, let's run a test. dot net test. Uh, using the Visual to run the test. So you so you're gonna do the branch from the command line, but the test from Visual. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Okay, so. Uh, net uh, test. Uh, uh, That's why Sam is my brother. Uh, Just hang out. Audit, audit uh, the new uh, solution. Yes, sir. Yeah, so it's failing. Oh, oh, uh, running. Yeah, yeah, run. This is because of the internal mock. Uh, it's uh, there is a thing in internal mock that's causing this, but that's okay. Go to the one that we really care about, which is the this one. Oh. Right. Yeah, this one. Yeah, should generate. Yeah, there exactly. Let's go with this one and see what happened there. So mess is not implemented. Uh, so here, uh, this guy. Um, not not the broker, Sam. Not the not broker. broker. So it's a uh, foundation. So do control minus control minus. Bro. Control minus. Do control minus again again. No, not control shift minus. Just control minus. There you go. One more. Control minus. Keep going. Like, yeah, there you go. Yeah, let's scroll down to the foundation service. So the foundation service call in the win section. This one, right? Yeah, let's go inside this function. Yeah. So that's where you need to implement stuff, Sam. Yeah, so you exception not implemented in the... Yeah. 
default uh, service implementation. Yeah, I usually, by the way, I usually do right click, go to implementation because if you do right click, go to definition, it'll take you to, yeah, there you go. That's the guy. Uh, zoom back out a little bit, Sam, because we can't see the whole function. You're too close. Control shift. Yeah, this is better. Yep, yep. All right, ma'am. What are we going to do? We need to do the do. So here is since we just uh, um, um, we can do like this one. So so here's a couple of things. Like for starters, you need to take that inside the expression. Let's scope this, Sam. So let's open up two squiggly brackets. And we basically need some sort of uh, way to take that token, that O token, and convert it into a link select expression, a stringified link select expression. That's basically the expectation. So look at your expected. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we need that guy. Yeah, we need to um, assign the expression. Right. And for the it's an input, we only have the token, the yeah. token of them, yeah. and get the generated expression and the uh, expression. Um, so we need we need to generate the stringified expression of uh, the stringified version of a select link expression yeah. and then pass it to the broker and the broker will give us the expression so we should using like this one should probably scope it um expression broker to generate uh -huh. uh, t uh, uh -huh. or expression uh -huh. dot token no and this guy no. return no no sam no this function is the one that will take the token and break it like this function that we're in right now it will take that o mm -hmm. token and turn it into a stringified link expression uh -huh. and then we're going to pass that stringified link expression to the broker but do we do we have the count of the o token to the link link expression no that's what you need to write right now <laughs> that's what you need to build yeah, but we can use this raw query. The raw query is an O data query. It's not link oh, okay. query. But it's here. It's just like this one dollar select equal uh, yes. name, right? This is a raw yeah. query. And yeah. uh, the input here is should like this one select uh, function call. Yeah. And uh, x star x star name right 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 so we have we have we must uh, convert the all no, expression all token, mm -hmm. all token mm -hmm. to link you ex expression a string that's correct yeah a string file this method um that's the plan so we need a, we need a express uh, service again Oh, no, uh, just for this, this test, we yeah. have a private method. Yeah, this service right here, this foundation service right here is the one that takes in that O token and turns it into a stringified link query that we eventually pass in as a parameter that will give us a link expression. Link express. That's right. Token. Convert O token to link, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yep. O token. Come with the link to expression. Yes, token. that's right. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So where do so, we start? The node, the node one doesn't doesn't matter, right? We know that there is a root. Right, and this root doesn't matter. We want to start from the children of that expression, right? I know. So, talk convert. Mm -hmm. Make sure it all expression. 
Uh, token. Not token. Yes, sir. Why your autocomplete is not working? I don't know. Okay, just do return on line 29. So, expression. Yeah. What's wrong? Just return it, so, bro. Why do you have to put it in a, in a function and just return it? You have to save that into the our expression. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, you're right. right. Yeah, you are right. So, yes. Expression dot exp. Yeah. And return. Yeah. Oh, expression. That's correct. Correct. So what's what's so it's uh so we should await. Um. Yeah. And yeah. you need to put async on line twenty five. Async. All right, everyone should be happy now. So no, now happy. we yeah. can focus on the computer to link expression. Okay. Yeah. So here That's... it's we have uh -huh. root. Uh huh. Um, right. So we have root. So let's go back yes. to the test. Yes. So we have root and the uh -huh. children. Yes. Um. Because we're doing only a simple select scenario, the piece that you're really gonna care about is to basically pick up the pick up the select expression and start building a yeah, string. Uh, yeah, and we then need you iterate. a basic model to visit the yes. visit each. Um it's better to collect a visitor um to do that. But here, uh just let us to uh, finish the simple. Uh, yeah, example. just just the select, okay? Yeah, Let's just do select. It. So we can think <laughs> plot. I need to change my mouse. Yeah, and your internet is yeah. a little choppy today, but so, um, so token dot mm. type is. I just go with token dot children. And then you start converting, right? Building the string as you go with every uh, child. So uh, make sure it's it's a loot. So yes. we can look to um um hmm. for token. Yeah. Uh, child. In token dot children. Mm -hmm. So we have each child from the children. Yeah. And we have a token. Um, you have a meeting, Sam? Yes. Now, let's do the session later. Huh? Yeah, just forget it. Forget just forget it. another video. <laughs> it's. <laughs> It's well, this is more important, it's right? You're pairing, you're writing code. So you can see it's 12 uh, 16 p.m. Yeah, so lunchtime. um, yeah. Dot, um, no name, no value in your dollar select. Uh -huh. if, sorry for the ugly code we continue later no that's okay so man. we have um, you need a string builder now right that's string builder um yeah because because that string builder is going to be converting uh, these it's a pen uh huh. Okay, so we have a paint. Let's finish that. Okay, so we have select. So now we call select. Okay, yeah. so maybe you can like this one. It's better. We don't need the string copy. It's you, you, you... Uh, or, the, or, or token type. 
Yeah, that's much better. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So now we have the children again. Mm -hmm. uh, all children. The child then. Uh, nice. Select child in the child or children. Yeah. Uh, so um, for each child, it's a property. We don't need right. to verify this property. So no, we, we already know it's just select, select this, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we can do like this one, x dot, um, new, new dot. and open, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you have better understanding. Yep. So we can say the SP dot append, um, uh, mm -hmm. x dot, uh, select child, uh, um, Name, right? Yep. A low value. Um, so we need a comma. So what's the best way? What's the best better way to to support the multiple if we have multiple? So we have to like this one. Um, x dot uh, name plus mm. x dot uh, uh, age. So we have comma. to add a comma. I think, yeah. I th I th oh, so I think we need to kind of find out is if it won't work if you put a comma and nothing after it, right? That would be really, really bad, right? Um, I think probably better, Sam, if we somehow indicated that the child is not the first child and there is more, more to it. For now, just a fast mm -hmm. draft. You know yeah so what's what's your best way so we can have the index right can we have have the index for in the for each oh so yeah of course you can the index yeah you can say index of like if you type in and say uh, <laughs> child to... mm -hmm. so uh let's do this um mm. if it's not a Good performance. Um, I I know we'll we'll get it to work and then we'll make it right and then we'll make it pretty. That's how these things evolve, right? Um, how these evolve, right? So return. Uh, sorry. String. So it should work. Let's it should work. Learn it. Let's find out. Well, what? this one, yeah. If logic, if it your logic is okay, yeah, let's find out. Here we go. <laughs> so building, oh. right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. I need to refresh the, the machine. Seriously, you need to refresh your machine. You need to refresh your internet. You just you just need to just just <laughs> But I need more money. You need more money. You need, you need more money. <laughs> need, need, need more need more rewards and, and bonuses <laughs> you are right let me talk to my man yeah let's we'll talk to the manager we're like where does it need more money all right what did it come back with did it fail still no it's still running oh my god oh my... Mm. <laughs> Mm. You can see using the Donet 7. Yeah, you gotta use the latest and greatest. That's how we see it. It's faster. Donet 6 is, is faster? Mm. Okay. So, so um, 
I installed .NET 7 SDK mm. uh, this Monday. And what do you think? Before that, I most of the time using the .NET 6. Mm -hmm. and, and is there a difference? In... It's still try problem, to... Your computer to... and your internet is the problem. <laughs> Not the internet. Okay, just the computer, okay. That's good. Sounds good. Just the computer. Okay. All right. You know, we also need a new computer for you. You're doing important work. We should get you a hardware refresh. No, this, uh, this laptop is totally new. It's Surface okay. 3. Surface 3? Surface 3 is not new. It's deprecated. There's, there's now Surface Book really? Pro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> okay, Sam, here we go. It failed. You did you, you did it work. So I know what the problem is. It said I expected the expression on the property actual expression to be null, but it wasn't. So maybe the problem is in the test. Can you give me back the code? Just give me that test back. Like put in the test name, thin arrow, and just type WIP. WIP. Yeah, so so copy the test name, make a commit and push it back to me and just do a thin arrow on it and call it WIP. Yeah, that guy. Copy the test name yeah. and uh, Yep, thin arrow. Hello. No, -A bro. No, no, no. No, 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 bro. Arrow, arrow like um minus larger than arrow thin arrow space minus oh, this there one? you go no no the yeah. other one the thin one. The other one single one yes and then wip all uppercase wap ip ip like IP. work in progress yes yeah shoot it back to me commit all and push commit all and push yeah let's do that All right, my dear friend, let's see here. Well, the, the first question is, do I have Odata Neo <laughs> on the on this machine? Let's see. OK, Sam, let's see. Here we go. So you created a new branch, right? Yeah, it's on yeah, new, yeah, new branch is created. OK, yeah. sounds good. Yeah, that's a good deal. Let's go. Let's go to main. Sync up on main. It's probably just a tiny error, tiny, tiny little tiny issue. Let's see here. So this is this guy, and then I'm gonna go into your branch now. You, you, said are, you are in the main branch. Yeah, yeah. So you so did you push straight to main, Sam, or did you push it to the branch? You know. I put to the branch. Okay, that's I switch. push the branch into the remote repo. Okay, I, I so believe you. I believe you. you. Should okay. Go to the git, git, git. Yeah, where are you? There you are. I get it. Okay, I got you. I found you. Okay, my friend, let's run these tests and see what's happening. Right. So you have on on the O expression service. We have this test in here, and we want to run this test. Let's run this test real quick. We might just need to do a deep clone or something like that because because these two share references and stuff. So let's see. This is the generated expression. Oh, so compare the reference, but it's not a reference. No, no there's also there's also one more thing. In here you said, in here you said X, and we said we want it to be obish. Remember that. So in here, let me take that one out. Remember we said this is obj, this expectation from the test, right? So we need to go and say obj object in here. And I bet you, if I run this test again, that this test will pass. What do you think about that, Sam? Do you think it's gonna pass? But uh, where do we compare the uh, link queue expression. 
I'll show you. In here, we go. We only care about the old expression. We didn't have the code. No, see, this is code. right. Do you see? This is this is the comparison in here, right? And also, like we want so we to make sure, sure make sure the the string the same is exactly yeah exactly the same. So, so let me just same? yeah. So you we see the, what? I, yes, Sam. So let's see. Select the off. Page? Yeah, the there might. Page. That's right. So so bear with me. Let's see. So you did select ob fat arrow new space. Yeah, there it is. So in here, you have this in here, and this would take care of all of that. So now if I go back to this test here, Okay, there's still something else that's failing. Obj name. Uh, huh? What's the error message? The error message says actual expression to be null but found expected property actual expression dot expression to be null but found null. <laughs> what does that even mean? Hang on with me in a second. Uh, I still think something here is not right. So in here, you basically said raw value. I think raw value is not, I think raw value is not the one. Is there like value? It's raw no, value. No. Okay, let me see what this string actually came back with. So if I do debug, let's see here, Sam. Oh, did I lose uh, sharing? Hold on. Yes. It doesn't matter. Yeah, there. yeah here you go. It doesn't... Okay. Ah, uh, so did I mistakenly delete the actual? <laughs> Hang tight. I didn't see anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know when you start debugging why it kind of it kicks you out of the the session. Here you go. Can you see now? <laughs> so what's a uh, what's the output of the uh, stream builder? Yeah, listen. I think the problem was that you know I pinned it here to an object, right? And mm -hmm. this object here, see now it's passing, right? But there's a problem with this, Sam. Right? This this expression here is not creating a real expression. Like whatever comes here is null. This guy is null. We need to create some expression in here. You know what I mean? So how do we do that? Expression dot. Is there like. Um, because this guy is coming as null. And I don't like that. You know what I mean? Like like if I go here and say, hey, have the expression be null. And don't give, give me anything back. It'll still work. Do you understand? Like if I go into this foundation service method in here. And say, oh, make this call, but in here I'm gonna set it as null, like this. Watch what happens. It'll be more than happy. Watch. Oh, it's not. How come? So, what is the value of the expression that's coming back then? Let's see. Maybe it's an expression of null. And that's why. Oh my God! I don't know why every time I debug it loses the screen. Here we go. So this here. So what's the value of this? See, it says it's null. I can't see. see. Oh, you can't see no. it. That's right. Watch. So every time you see, see what? <laughs> <laughs> can you can you even see my? Uh, you can't even see. Hold on. Let's do this. Here. So it's better to share the whole totally screen. If I the shared total my total, screen. if I shared my total screen, you won't be able to see anything because the screen anything. is. Yeah, I want to see anything. <laughs> you want to see everything on your screen. But, but look at this, Sam. Do you see this? Mm -hmm. This is null. Yes, I can see. It. Although that it's still saying, and I'm I'm of type object, and I'm on a constant. 
Yes. But so it says that this guy is null, but it's not a normal null. It's a null that is an expression of a constant that's a null. That's so weird. That's so weird, dude. We need to figure out a way. I, okay, I guess that's okay. Uh, but we need to figure out a way to make sure that we are um, we are actually generating a random, random expression. Like a random, random expression. Okay, my dude. Cool. So if I run this, this should pass. And then I'm going to change the test a little bit. So you can no, make it. Why? Why? Uh, what did you hmm. change to make the test kit? Pass. Oh, I I just did the the good happy path, the thing that we had before, the code that we had in place before. So the mm -hmm. code that we had before is just passing the expression as a property value to the property of the system, right? Yeah, but that's the that's all the code. Yeah, I tried to do null before and it failed. I know. Yeah, we should return the expression. Right. Okay, so, so I mean. The reason mm. um, the test fail at my side. Mm -hmm. so what's the string. The that was the just the string. That's the string. It's not. It's mismatch. Yeah, you were supposed to say obj and you said new uh, x or something like that. That's all. Okay. So here's the thing. I'm gonna upgrade the test a little bit. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna upgrade the test for you a little bit. So here is. This is a pass. Here, Sam. Uh, I'm gonna go here and throw another one in here. We need to rent we need to randomize these anyway, but I'm gonna go here and say here is actually Maybe it's better to create a new test. No 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 we're we're building up on top of the existing test. We're just making it a bit more let me just do this for you. Here is a here is a private static list of O token. Right, and and this is create random property O tokens. Are you with me, Sam? So O tokens, and then I need kind of a random generator. So private static int get random number ah, somewhere between you know. So get random number, and then we're gonna go here and say new int range. Int range like this. And basically, uh, minimum, uh, minimum two, maximum ten. That's nine. Get value, and then in here I'm gonna go and say enumerable, right? And I'm gonna go and say range. Start at zero. Count all the way up to get random number, and then I'm gonna do select, right? And then I'm gonna go and say item, item, uh, new, O token, right? And this is gonna be dot to uh, dot to list of O tokens, okay? And then here I'm gonna basically go and say, well, there are things that are for sure, which is the type. The type has to be a property and a projected type is a property as well. Let's take this one out. Okay, and then you have a value now, right? So then this value, raw value, will be get random string. So just a random string that you need to get. And I'm gonna go here and say private static uh, string get random string, like that. Okay, so this is new mnemonic string get value. Here's the random string, right? And this guy is returning a list of O tokens. So all I have to do is just say return in here. And I guess I don't need this guy. Cool. So now, now we can go back here. I'm going to make the test a little harder now. So I'm going to go here and say get random or create random O tokens, right? But there's another trick to this. The other trick here is to basically go and say for every one of these, I need to know, I need a list of of a comma based kind of values, right? So I'm going to go here and say private static. Oh, I, yeah, as I'm creating this, that's right. So so let's see here, Sam, we can we can make this work. Um, 
So this will be actually a new, um, what you call it? Uh, yeah, let me do it this way. We'll go here and say properties, right? And then here I'm gonna go and say out of these random property tokens, let's put these in a variable. Introduce local. There you go. Random property O tokens. And my dear friend, I can go here and say random property O tokens dot. And then I can go and say um, select, right, O token. And out of these O tokens, we can go and say, I just want the O token dot raw value, right? So now that I got this raw value, I can now go back here and say, out of these raw values, I want you to go and say, um, uh, aggregate, mm. right? And out of aggregate, not aggregate, Sam, what was the one that would, um, that would combine a list together? There is one that's called a string to join. Join, yes, thank you. And uh, in the join, we're basically going and saying just do the uh, yeah. So we can basically go and say string. Okay, here you go to array, right? No, it's just return array, right? It's a <coughs> I know. So you can yeah. Before the random property O token, we can call string dot join. Yes, array. So if I do this, right, and if I go back here, watch this. So the properties would be string dot join, right? Mm -hmm. And the separator is this. Yeah. And and then each one of them would be. Properties array. Yeah, string. Right, but properties array is not enough, right? Because we need to go and say it's not just properties array. And it does select again. No, hang on. So this would be like this, Sam, because this guy here needs to be an obj dot, right? And now yeah. I, yes. and now I can go back here and say. Here is a dollar sign. So this is escaping the dollar sign, but I actually don't want to escape the dollar sign. Yeah, this here, and then we can go and say properties array like this. That should technically do the trick. Let me just double check because this is gonna be an important piece. Let me yeah, debug. But it can't work. It can't work? Because in the service implementation, we. I know I'm, I'm giving you a failing test. Like we already got the test to pass. Now I'm giving you another failing test to upgrade the logic, right? Okay, let's go back here into the thing. And does this expected, ah, uh, okay. It, this will disconnect again and that's okay. Um, this here is coming back as, oh, I should have added properties instead of properties array. Right, Sam. And now, yeah. and now let's debug this again. I don't know why Visual Studio thinks it's a different screen. It's really dumb. Okay. All right. So, so what does this? Ah, this looks perfect, Sam. Now you have a, you have uh... a good. I know I know you can't see it. I know you can't only see you it. Can, only you can see it. Only no I can see can it. <laughs> uh, because, because because that's how pair programming works. I hide from you the implementation, right? <laughs> so anyway, so this should fail. If I run this here, this should fall apart. Mm. Yeah, we can copy uh, line 47 to line 48 to the expression. And that's probably not a good thing, but I'm gonna we we're gonna have to clean it up at some point. But here here's a failing test. Do you wanna make that test pass? Here. Fail. Here you go, Sam. Push. Yep, all gone. 
all yours. You you only click the commit. Just one, yeah. Just, no, I say I I click commit and push. One click, okay. one hit. Okay, Sam, you are now the boss. Let's see, here's your screen. So, huh. so your change. Do you have Do you have my change? So let's hear. So we can do. Yes, I mm. see. Yeah, so we have over there. Um, okay. So we can do the same thing. Um, for the select, we can do like this one. Um, child, mm -hmm. children, uh, select. Um, let's start uh, low value, written all value. We can combine them mm -hmm. together. Um, I think it's the same code. Um, it, it we can be copy similar. that, but we yeah. can say that. Okay. So it should be like this. OBJ, OBJ, right? OBJ? Yep, OBJ, yep, yep, uh, yep. And, uh, Simplify it a little uh, bit, Sam. Put it, uh, put it in another string. function. So it works and we can refactor the code. Okay. We need another parenthesis. Mm -hmm. Um so we can do like this um append um So plot is we don't have need this one we need uh, uh, this one uh -huh. pa, 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 pa. yeah <laughs> looks like angular put <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have Sam, uh, and uh, Sam, please, please have the listen, yeah, listen, restart your router. Your router is cutting out, your internet is really, really choppy. Restart router, you're cutting out, your voice keeps cutting out. Loud, uh, my model, model, your, 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 your modem, yes. Restart it, turn it off, and then turn it back yeah, on again. My model is in another, another, in the another other room. room. Okay, let's suffer through yeah. this. Just get the test to pass. <laughs> it's better now. Maybe I can close uh, other. Yeah. 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 What are you What are you running? A server farm at home? What are you hosting? What's What's using all your internet? <laughs> Are you are you are, are you uh I don't know. are you rent are you re offering internet yeah, service yeah. to the neighbors? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, say. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'll just play. Go. Okay, let's run the test. Let's see. Oh, well, I click the hmm. running. Running, okay, we'll wait. Take us nap. <laughs> when do you have your lunch? Oh, usually between 12 to 1, but, uh, you know, I, 
between 12 to 1, but uh, it's already passed. I'm more excited about Odata than food. You know, food is for myself. Odata is <laughs> for the world. Odata. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Sam. Yeah, but most time it, it's flexible. <laughs> yeah, it's flexible. You can it's eat good. whenever. It's flexible. Sam, next time you're going to need to fix your internet. Your internet sucks. You need to fix it. Okay. Yeah, maybe I needed to... You need, you need a new internet. To... Are are you are you Most hardwired or Wi Fi? Is good. Are you hardwired or Wi Fi? Wi Fi. Yeah, Wi Fi is bad. You're streaming, son. You need the whole power of the internet. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, no. Do you have do you have long cord? Ethernet cable? Yes. <laughs> okay. Next time, next session, Friday. Hardwired. Hot wire. I don't have uh, how do I as I launch uh, as as long as possible to catch my model. So maybe I can move to another loom. So it it could be better. Maybe. Let's just see if this test will pass. The test failed. Uh, huh. Do you see anything? I, your screen froze completely. I, your screen froze. Okay, now I see it. Uh. Well, why is so slow? Your computer is slow. Your internet is slow. You're pissing me off. <laughs> Let's go, son. Sorry for that. No, it's okay. I'm just teasing you. Just teasing you. It's still running. <laughs> the test is still running, huh? We we must have written some really yeah. really non optimized code. Huh? It's 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 abnormal because uh, I uh, build and run the test for other projects. Yeah. It, it it's 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 fast. And, it's fast. And... But I don't know what happened this morning for all the new. So it seems all the new is a very 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 big. Project. Yeah, it's a we big project. Millions, yeah. millions code. Millions really of lines of code. Project. That's it. That's what it is. You got it. You you hit the nail on the head right there. <laughs> Maybe it's time to restart my machine. It's mm. time to restart the world. So I'll tell you what. Let me tell you this. See, I I think. We... Huh. Let, let me restart and join the meeting. Can you hold on? Okay. Hold the recording? Yeah, I'll, yeah I'll, I'll, hold, I'll, I'll wait for you. Don't worry. I'll entertain the, the troops. Don't worry. I got you. I'll, I'll entertain the yeah, troops. You yes, you're good. I got you. All right. Okay. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> I'm going to try to pull Sam, Sam's code. I don't know if he pushed it, really. I don't think he did. So we'll just wait for him for a second there until he comes back. <clears throat> All right.
right Sam Let's see here there we go Ideally, I would want the, you know, the generation like this here is basically redundant business logic. A better solution with the, for this is to basically go and say, you know, while you are generating this, you're also producing, you know, the, like while this, while this, these items are coming in, we're also producing the, you know, the, the expected Right, and we basically return both into one dynamic object, or you know, two return types, or something of that nature, right? And that would make things a little bit easier. Let's let's give it a shot together, just to see if we can make this a little bit nicer. So this is a list of O tokens, and then we also want to get back basically a string, right? So now instead of select, we have a for each, for each like this. And let's see, does this need to be a list or something? That list. And then here's a for each. Yeah, so for each one of these items, we can now go and say, give me a, for each, of course, doesn't return anything. So give me a, a new token. Okay. And then... Uh, we need a couple of lists, right? So I need a list, a list of O token in here, and that's random O token, right? And this random O token is just a new list, right? So we don't need the identifier type because that can be a var. And then uh, for each one of these, we'll basically just go and add a new one. So this is random O tokens, O tokens. dot add and then we're basically adding a new o token here for every uh, iteration but also as we're adding this we're also appending to a string right so this would be string uh, expected link query and this will be just a a nothing right but we're so let's let's do a string builder then so this is string builder a string builder here you go and then we can basically go and say var string builder and then in here we can go and say string builder dot append <clears throat> and then let's see here so out of these random tokens for each and every one of these we can basically go and say uh, as you are adding this which is the item I want to get that exact same random string value so this is the raw value in here. So string raw value. There you go. And then we basically use that raw value in both of these places. That this way I'm not really repeating my business logic because I'm basically going and saying, no, wait a second. This is a I'm creating this expected as I'm created the the uh, the inserted inserted value or the returned value. Uh, so let me do this, and then that would be uh, the uh, obj dot, and in here I expect to have the raw string value, just like that. Okay, so now uh, this is freaking out because we're doing a return, but we're not supposed to be doing a return here. Uh, but also, uh, this is raw string value, obj just like that so we have that string builder it might be even better if we made this also a, a raw values like a, a list of strings would that be better and then we basically go and say okay add this list of strings and then give me back the final result as uh, you know that that comma based list of strings right just like that as I'm creating that that might be a little bit better a little bit better so let's see here we can go and do this uh, raw values dot add 
right? So the, each one of those is going to be the raw value. And now I can go and say raw values string uh, expected, uh, sorry, uh, all values, all raw values equal, and that would be string dot join. And then we do that little shindig that Sam was talking about. So this is raw values. I don't know if it takes an i enumerable. Apparently it does. Now we can go back and return this. So what do we expect? We expect to return the random tokens and also all raw values, just like that. So now that I have that, I can now go ahead and say, uh, in, instead of this, we're deconstructing this. So it's becoming this guy. Like you don't have to actually create one thing for the tuple. You could just go and say uh, uh, all raw values like this. So this guy's deconstructing like that, right? Let me break that into the new line. There you go. And now I can basically go and say, uh, instead of doing all this, all this nonsense, which is basically the business logic of this, I can just go here and say, give me the all raw values, right? So that's all raw values in addition to random property tokens, which is what this guy is taking as input parameter. Okay, so that's a much better test because now we're not really, we're not exactly repeating what the business logic is doing in a way. Right, so now let me run this real quick. Here we go. All right, and is this guy failing for all the right reasons? Yeah, it says I expected an expression, but found an expression. All right, so so Sam, I just updated things a little bit. So now you have the, uh, I just did a quick code rub, uh, make test pretty just while we're waiting for you. All right, go ahead and share your screen, pull back from your side, and let's see if that would make the test pass. Okay. Um... Okay. What did it do? Oh, just just pull latest, and and still apply your business logic. It should still work. Is is it better? Yeah, that's much better. Your your fan your fan is hitting your microphone, but you know that's the least of my concerns. I don't want to. Fan can can cool my machine. Okay. Okay. Okay, so can you see my screen line? Yes, uh, not yet. Yeah, yes, I can. Go ahead. So just just get latest, get latest. So that's my change. It, it uh, I check it, it. It can pass the pass the test. Okay. So. So now we just need to run the test, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just build. I think this is a glitch. It just didn't pick up. So. Yeah, so it's it's better. Yeah, let's run let's run this one test same. Huh. <clears throat> Here we go. It pass. Perfect. Now submit that as a pass, and then on Friday we're gonna do the uh, null validations, exception handling, all these things. Sounds good. Pass. Right. 
Yes, to put a space between pass and the arrow and uh, previous and after. Yeah, before and after. Yep. Thank you, sir. Commit all and push. Good to go, <laughs> right? So, so Friday we do the Friday we do the validations and everything, Sam. Right. All right, keep it in this room next time because like, internet, big problem, okay? And of course, as usual, thank you for, for your hard work and I appreciate your hard work on this. For the people watching us, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Take care, Sam. Bye. See you later. Yeah, see you, man. Bye.